Welcome back third graders. So now that our painted plate is dry, we're going to actually get our loom ready to start weaving today. So to get started, I'm gonna flip my plate over to the back and then I've created for you a loom template uh, which has little notches of where you're going to be cutting uh, so that we can string what's called the warp. So I'm gonna flip this over as well and put it on top of my plate. And wherever there's a little notch, I'm just gonna make a pencil mark onto my plate so I know where to make a little cut. Okay, and when I'm done doing that, I'm just gonna give this to somebody else because it's pretty quick. Uh, then you're just going to make a little cut on each of those lines. So you don't need to go super far in. Okay, once you've cut all your slits, then you're gonna take a long piece of white yarn and you're going to tape it to the back of your plate and you want to make sure it's pretty secure so when you put your tape down you want to really kind of press it and I would do it towards the middle um, and actually leave a little bit more out so that it won't slip out of the tape okay then you can choose where you want to which uh, slit you want to start with but you're going to put it through one of them and we're looking at the front now. So it's in one slit, and I'm going to go across the street to another notch and put it in, okay? So go across the street. Then I'm gonna go to the next door neighbor. <laughs> so I'm going to go to this one and put it through so I'm back on the front now, okay? I'm then gonna repeat that where I go across the street, next door neighbor, making the smallest X that I can make. So does this make an X? No. Does this make an X? Yes. So does this, but it's not the smallest X I can make. So I want to go here, cross the street, flip it, and I don't want to go back to where I was. I want to go to the next one. So I'm going to my next door neighbor, right? Across the street, smallest X I can make. Put it in the slit. Next door neighbor. Smallest X, next door neighbor. And then on your, so then here's my last next door neighbor. And then I'm going to go across, but there's still one notch left right here. So on your last one, you're going to go to your next door neighbor here. And then there's nowhere for it to go because now with what's left here, I'm going to start weaving. And what we've created here um, by stringing this base is called the warp. Uh, the warp can be um, vertical on like our friendly loom. Um, here it's kind of coming to the center, but this is your base string that you put on first so that you can then weave with what's called the weft. And that's gonna be our colors that we're gonna weave in and out. All right, so we're working on our warp. And it's actually going to turn into our weft as we start weaving it now. So with this string, I'm going to go, just start going in a circle. I'm going to go under, over, under, over, and keep going around. And once I get about halfway around, I'm going to pull and tighten and you can see it kind of pulls it all together there. Okay, so then I'm looking, okay, my last one was under, so now I'm going over, under, over, under, over. And I'm gonna keep weaving around until this string runs out, and then I will uh, tie on a new color.
Okay, so when I'm starting to run out of my first color here with my weft, I'm now going to choose another color and I'm going to double knot it onto my first color. So like I just grabbed an orange piece of yarn. So it's just like when you're tying your shoes. So you're just going to tie it once and then just tie it one more time. So you're just gonna kind of double knot it. Uh, and don't worry about these little threads that are hanging out here. Once you get weaving with your second color, we're gonna push those underneath so you won't see them. Um, so now that my orange is connected to my weft, I'm just going to continue weaving. And you wanna keep doing this until you have at least four colors. And if you'd like to continue after that, you can. And at this point, another thing I can do if I want is add a bead. So in the middle of weaving, you can pick a color, and this is optional, um, and put a bead onto your weft, and then you just keep going. So I just went under, now I'm going back over, and that bead will stay woven into my weaving. Okay, so I'm going to keep going until I have at least four colors, and then why don't we take a look at how it turns out. Okay, so all together I ended up using one, two, three, four, five colors, including my white string. Um, then, to finish this off when I'm done, I'm going to take the end of my last color, and I'm going to just knot it to one of the white strings. Okay, and you're probably going to want to do that twice and just make sure it's secure. And then I can just cut off the extra uh, yarn as long as I know it's tied on pretty good. And I've got my weaving.